ladies and gentlemen, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. As I shoot the intro for this video today, the return of EPF on the YouTube platform, right? I'm a little bit emotional. Today, one of my dreams has come true, right? The EPF cross Euro Tackle, or better saying Euro Tackle cross EPF 562 pieces ultra light, my signature ultra light rod, right? With solid tip technology, good blank right over here, 40T X carbon is finally dropping on the Euro Tackle website. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Check this logo out right over here, right? Ooh, boy, and right on the other side, you've got Euro Tech. That's some juiciness right here. Not to mention, this is a limited edition item that I just dropped on the website, you know? Price point for it is $230. I know it is a little bit expensive, but it is worth every single cent for the quality that it provides if you want to grab one i recommend you to stop this video right now pause it man or lady go to the website and grab one before it's gone okay there are only 50 of these babies on sale and that's it okay it is a limited edition 50 one batch you grab one You'll be able to tell the rest of the world, man, I got my hands on the best ultralight rod that America has to offer. You don't grab it? What can I tell you? You know you miss the opportunity, right? There's only 50 of them. We may or may not make more of these rods in the future. But even if we do, even if we do, it is not going to be in 2023 anymore, okay? This is a limited edition batch, man. It's going to be 2024 and onwards. Let me tell you, you buy one of these babies, is a long-term investment. You are not going to break it on a fish, ultralight fishing, right? As far as you don't mistreat it, meaning you don't step on it, you don't put the tip on the fan or the, your car's door, right? Or you bang it on the rocks and wood, this baby, is going to last you a long, long time. I've been testing the prototype here on the channel for over a year, as you folks have seen the videos, right? Strongest freshwater fish I've caught on it, six pound common carp, Cyprinus carpio, from California, all right? The strongest saltwater fish I've caught on it, just recently, in Waikiki, Hawaii, a long jaw, bonefish all right that i gotta tell you uh yeah when i was fighting that bonefish in hawaii i'm not gonna lie i thought this rod was going to explode you feel me <laughs> bonefish took it run for 15 seconds he's straight pulling drags i saw this rod bend in ways that i didn't think it was possible before <laughs> but it survived so yeah that's what i'm saying you know you buy one of these a long-term investment okay i'm very very proud of this man shout out to euro tackle for making this happen okay like i said it's a dream come true thank you ben if you're watching this right now you know for giving me the opportunity to create a rod right not just any rod a rod that is that is specialized for what i do right ultra life fishing micro fishing life listing exploring that's why it's two pieces you can carry it around right and go through all the gunk with it man thank you so much but that being said all right all right man this ain't just a promo for the rock type of video okay ladies and gentlemen we got things to do today leo put it on the screen man put it on the screen can you believe that in 2023 we haven't caught one of those yet i mean come on man the 2023 species marathon continues right so let's get our baby over here signature rod okay with my signature lure epf swim and let's go chase some species here at the penny pack creek yeah we got a three over there a little shadow line yeah, shadow line is usually good oh yeah boy can't go wrong with a shadow line, man. That's what a crazy Alberto would probably tell you. 
Hey, look at that. Oh, first fish of the day. Red braised, some fish. Not our target species, right? But a beautiful Epomis auritus for folks who have been missing some of the local species around me, right? Folks are always complaining nowadays. Oh man, you're going everywhere around the country. What happened to the fishing in Philly, right? There you go, dude. We're fishing. We're fishing in Philly now. Oh man, schools of small is just chilling here, huh? Yeah, look, red breast coming, checking the EPF swim. He's like, should I eat this thing? What is there? Should I nail it? The small is looking at it now. Look, ooh, dude, really, bro? It's not as small as our target species, bro. Look, look at the EPF swim. Almost that sticking on the bottom. And it's a nice, dude. Wow, it's a nice size too. Holy smokes, man! This is a decent size rock bass right over here. It's got a little hump here on its back, right? Umbloplites rupestris in full spawning colors. I'm gonna put it back in the water, but this is a new species for 2023. Wow, that is what's up. Does that mean that we can go back home now? <laughs> no, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. <laughs> okay, final view of our fish over here. I'm gonna take a photo and let it go. All right, let's do a quick unhooking over here. Man, that thing gnarly, top of its mouth, but thankfully I can use the Tim Galati finger technique over here, right? Look at that, man, beautiful, huh? Beautiful rock bass over here. Man, such a gorgeous sample. Look at that fish, bro. Another species for the 2023 species marathon. I'm gonna release it against the current right there back it goes look at that swimming back right over there <laughs> all right hey all right let's go back home now <laughs> no i'm just mad i'm just mad we're going to fish we're going to fish some more <laughs> oh yeah cast it right around the shadow can't go wrong with it let me tell you that's how it is during the summer the dog days of summer Look at that, man. Blue gear. That's another species for today, huh? Third species of the day. Beautiful, beautiful blue gear with a little bit of purple on the side. Blue on the opercular flap right there. Summertime, that's how you do it, you all. You know, you come out here, right? You wade. Doesn't matter where you're fishing around the country. When the water is like super clear, you want to make sure that you find yourself some shade, you know? Shade is your best friend. So when you see trees like this, you know, hanging from the creek that provides shade for the fish, sometimes the fish is just, you know, sitting in the shade, ready to ambush, right? Anything that passes around there cast a little EPF swim, right? Which is a minnow imitation. Well, no joke, right? <laughs> you are bound to catch some stuff in your local creeks. Three different species of sunfish in less than 10 minutes here at the penny pack. Oh yeah, something's chasing my, my EPF right there. I see it. Oh my many took it. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a nice man, that's a nice size red breast too. Look at that. Oh, spawning colors and all. Look at me. I love summer creek fishing. You come out here with a set of waders. You don't even need the waders, truth be told, you know? You just come out here, waders or no waders, and you absolutely is oh, this one's got a little tumor on the side of its mouth right here. Look at that. Oh, oh, it's not a tumor. It's just a piece of the mouth that is hanging over here, probably from a previous injury, right? Man, I think this fish has been hooked in the past. Someone did not do that much of a good job on hooking the fish, right? And the side of its mouth is just hanging. <laughs> you know, a piece is just hanging there. All right, all right, little fella. Man, look at the colors on that fish, huh? summertime spawning collars whoo man a lot of people 
underestimate the red braised sunfish going directly back you know to the shaded area it hasn't even been 15 minutes that we out here is laying the panfish you know that was good eating size too want to see a catch and cook panfish on the youtube channel hey man drop a like on the video you feel me i got 750 likes on this video i promise you all we're gonna cook some panfish all right fundamental fundamentals you know essentials right make sure always your lures clean before you cast don't let it have any grass on it or anything like that it will mess up its performance nah too shallow too shallow man it's getting grass ever cast Oh, but after there, after there actually looks good. Okay, easy. I have to position myself now. Positioning yourself is extremely important when it comes to the stuff. You see, position myself diagonal from the tree. There's a current break in the shadow line. Water gets just a tad deeper. And that's how you do it. Well, it is just a red breast, but I'm showing you here on the channel the techniques that you're supposed to apply to catch fish around your area right in particular if you're a creek fishing you see I'm teaching you how to do it right I may have just landed this tiny red breast sunfish that doesn't mean that if you go around your area that's what you're going to land man that your three pound smallie may just be in a spot like that Come on, trout. Dude, I'm pretty positive there's a trout right over here. I'm about to put the power bait on. Been catching panfish after panfish. That trout is not hitting the EPF swim. Man, I'm about to put some power bait on. We're going to catch that trout. All right, got myself a split shot over here. Doesn't need to be too small, but we don't want too big either. I love myself that salmon peach power bait. I know I brought it with me. Oh yeah, look at that, dude. This is my favorite one, salmon peach power bait over here. I was fishing that hole over there and I kind of saw a long fish in it. Kind of thought to myself, man, it's a smallie, right? Smallmouth bass. And right now, smallies are still close season, you know, close season for bass in Pennsylvania so I thought to myself man I'm not going to bother the fish right but it was behaving odd you know against the current I was like man I think that's a trout you know I got here my foolproof setup for trout especially around summertime when there are very finicky water temperature is higher right if you don't catch the stock trout from the penny pack come summertime water temperature gets too high they all die anyways you know so i got my salmon peach here i don't mind harvesting one or two today if i'm able to find them i'm gonna walk to the hole very slowly we're going to give two casts to see if that's a trout or not where is that fish do we see that fish at all Oh man, kind of lost track of it. Oh yeah, 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 no, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. You kidding me? The sunfish ate my power bait? Get out of here, man. Bro, what is this? What? Since when you eat power bait, dude? What is you mutation? Are you that hungry? What the heck, bro? Trying to catch the trout over there on size 18. Hook rock bass ate my power bait. Y'all ever seen this kind of stuff before, man? Dude must be real hungry, huh? You must be real hungry, huh, fella? Gee, man. You're wasting my power bait on rock bass, bro. Alright, let's put another piece down there.
got one finally dude this trout are so finicky i'm not taking trout today but had to switch from the epf oh easy had to switch from the epf to the oh we got off man to the stone fly look at that man Oh, man, that was a rainbow trout, by the way. Whole day I've been catching panfish. Finally, I got to this area, right? That I usually see some trout around because it is kind of like the junction of the Pennypack Creek, right? With a little brook. So the water over here is a little bit colder during the summer, right? Saw them swimming down there, cast the EPF swim. They didn't bite at all, right? I was like, man, if they're not going after fish, you know what they're doing? They're going after bug, right? I always tell people have at least two different types of plastic imitations on you. And guess what? I was right, man. Second cast with the stone fly. Pow, I saw the trout doing the little thingy there. Nailed it. But I lost it. So there were three of them around here. Now that I lost that one, hmm, for the other two, I don't know. They get spooked very easily around this time of the year. Uh, could there be another one around? Oh yeah, boy. Oh yeah. Oh, you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Just lost the second trout. Two out of three, man. You really can't make that up, man. Uh, we started with 100%, then we went down to 66. <laughs> now we are down to 33. <laughs> I'm not that confident. I'm not that confident I can land a trout <laughs> in this video now, you know? When you have three samples, they're willing to buy. You miss one, you miss two. Okay, let's see if it is going to happen or not. oh man sometimes that's how fishing is right folks yeah 2 15 p.m it is time for me to go man the fishing was just getting good too but regardless you know regardless as you folks can see today was an excellent day here at the penny pack creek i kind of called the sunfish superfecta right and my target right which was the rock bass the Amblopletes rupestris, the trout, well, if I caught it, that would really be an extra, right? I would take some for dinner for myself today. That being said, I'm going to finish this video by giving two big shout outs here, right? Because of my signature. I know that I've mentioned this like five times in the video already, but I'm telling you, this is a pretty emotional day for me, okay, man? Limited edition signature, right? This is this is my baby <laughs> so i would like to give two shout outs over here first shout out goes to ban owner of the euro tackle company thank you very much for putting all this fate you know on extreme fully fishing now not only i have my signature lures right the epf swim epf grub epf minnow i also got my my signature rod and the second shout out obviously obviously goes to you who's watching this video right now right big shout out man to the entire following the entire fan base all the fans the epf aficionados because this would never have been possible without you right without your love and your support so as always thank you very much you know I can't emphasize enough that it is thanks to you folks, right? That YouTubers, content creators, influencers exist in this world, all right? Okay, I'm going to finish the video right here. If you got your rod by the time this video is done, congratulations, you now own a piece of limited edition best in the market in the US ultralight rod, okay, man, you ain't gonna find any any like this okay the one that comes closest to it is the daiwa kage and i can tell you because i used it this is better than the kage all right 
If you miss the opportunity and it turns out the rods sell out, I don't know what to tell you. I don't even know if it is ever going to be back, okay? You may have also noticed, right, that I got my new set of waders in this video, Northing. I'm sponsored by Northing nowadays, right? An Euro tackle. But you know what? I'm not going to... I need to test the set of waders a little bit further before I can recommend it to you, you feel me? I can't just use the waders one time and be like, heck yeah, fellas, go out there and get you because this is the bomb, right? I mean, so far, it is great. It works great. But I'm going to test it three, four more times, you know, before I start bumping up a promo code, right? And telling people, yeah, man, get it because it's good quality. But I mean, so far, you know, I'm liking it a lot. All right, I really gotta run. My train is coming in about 20 minutes. You know, I'll see you all next time. All right, thanks for watching. Tie lines and take it easy. Oh my God. Do you scared the heck out of me, man? Easy. Is that a groundhog? Aren't you supposed to be over, over there by the vegetation, man? Easy. Easy. Yes, yes. Go, 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 my friend. That is a groundhog, right? Man, groundhogs scare the heck out of me, man. Aren't they supposed to be eating stuff over there, bro? Gee. <laughs> you really can't make that up. I thought, what was that round fluffy thing? Whew.